Hey, what's happening, man? Thank you for joining us, the King Penny Podcast. This is episode number two. Last week was dope. I appreciate you guys uh, tapping in, checking it out. The views were great. The feedback was awesome. You know, I know there's a lot of stuff I need to work on, and we're going to get to it. You know, but this week, let's try to make it better. That's all we're going to do week by week. And we have a very beautiful special guest from here in Longmont, Colorado, Miss Katrina. Look, I don't, I don't have an applause button. You, you should, know I mean? because like, that was a great intro. Hey, you should. I'm the sound guy, too, and the video guy. Look here, I can only do so much. Okay, we got it. All right, there we go. So, you know what I mean? We know your name is Katrina, right? So today, we're going to figure out what it is you actually do, what's motivating you, what's the overall goal, and how you balance all of this. Great. Are you ready? Life questions. Uh, I think I was born ready, but yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, let's, let's get start. into it. Let's start. So where are you from? Um, originally, I'm from California. I was born in Palo Alto, stayed out there for a few years. Uh, my mom moved me here really young. I went back and forth for a long time, and uh, then I just stayed out here, had some kids, made my own roots. Okay, and how many children? I have three kids. Uh, probably the reason why the sh we could just jump into motivation. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have three children, so... I just forgot how old they were, 12, 11, and 7. <laughs> no, that's what's up. That's what's up. Single? Married? None of your business. Just oh, wow. uh, I, I'm single, and I'm not specifically looking because I, I just have more important things going on. Hey, I heard mm -hmm. that. No, that's really good. So what do you do for a living? I feel like the better question is what don't I do? Okay. Uh, I'm a woman with many hats. Uh, I get that all the time. I'm a woman with many hats. I like to say I'm a catalyst of magic, so... And not in the not in the way of like crystals and spells and all that no, stuff. Like, no. <laughs> um, I I just like to be passionate about be what other people are passionate about. So um, I do like a lot of content creation and photography and social media management. Um, I'm partner for a company called the Knock Three Hundred Three as well. Um, shout out to Kelsey and the Knock. Um, that's the fan bam right there. But and we do a lot of cool things together that you just really can't put into categories um, other than you know, create magic. I did come across that cipher though, and I was uh, talking yes. to you about that before we started. Mm -hmm. That uh, what's the, what's the actual like the Hispanic uh, cipher? Or? Yeah, so it not necessarily a Hispanic, but we really wanted to shout out the, the that hip hop is in like everybody's culture. Yeah. So it, it may have started you know in certain areas, but it's adapted to where like so many people can be a part of hip hop and. Um, you know, for the most part, a lot of people see music as colorblind, so we really love that. So we went and we called it our Chicano lineup. I don't um, okay. But yeah, so a lot of artists that, I mean, some of them weren't even heavily like into their heritage like that, but they were just like, this is a great way for me to start. And we went to um, Cultura Chocolate in Denver, which is like a Hispanic chocolate factory. Oh. And that was really cool. And the whole neighborhood is really just Latino pride. And um, we had a great time. But, yeah, please go to YouTube and type in the Knock 303. Check out all of our ciphers. They're incredible. It's too early for a plug. But we're going to go ahead and look. No, look, that's <laughs> right. Let just add that in there. She says, we opened the door <laughs> a little bit. Talking, hey, we're about to this thing it, yeah. open. No, I got you, though. But it is fire, though. Definitely check that one out, man. So you also, so you wear all these hats, mm -hmm. but you also are in school. Yes. Yes, I am. And what are you studying? Uh, business management with an emphasis on small business and entrepreneurship. The idea is to be able to walk into any business and make it more successful and like more thriving and then walk out and just keep like a residual income from that business. That way there's multiple streams of revenue, generational wealth, all those things. Oh, look at you thinking ahead, thinking yeah. hey, well, you got... I have those, three kids. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, yeah, <laughs> three you kids, gotta... one income, you got to do something big. So how often do you meet with your team? Kelsey and I talk, Kelsey, I have multiple teams, but Kelsey's probably my main, um, shout out to my boys at Survival 7 as well, because so, they, Survival you? 7 Entertainment, okay. um, I run their social media, um, and do probably about 80% of their content creation and promotion, marketing, and stuff like that, um, but they're, they're great, they're super great, just they're, I'm not as heavily in with them as I am with Kelsey, like her and I, we talk every day at like seven o'clock in the morning. She's calling me like, so on today's schedule. And I'm like, yep, I'm here for it. Let's do it. Um, but realistically, we try to meet twice a week because right now we have three projects that we're currently, we have in motion and none of them are like in the same realm. So, but you guys, so mainly, but you guys uh, function in Denver though. Yes. Yeah. So the Knox 303 is primarily out of Denver. Not to say that we don't pull from 
wherever, but that's just where the main music hub is. So, so an artist can reach out to you guys uh, just on Absolutely. Instagram or? Um, so we have a link tree, but Instagram's probably our biggest uh, way of pulling in artists. We do have, uh, in our link tree, there's an artist submission form. If you're an artist, don't think because you're not from Denver, you can't work with the NOC. Um, we support like all creativity and drive in artists because we just think that our artist community is really underserved and not represented in the best way, which was how this whole idea came to be. And this is Kelsey's idea. Um, I just jumped in like halfway through when she was having a rough time and we just, we are like yin and yang and work really well together. And also too, I want a Longmont artist too to tap in in the comments section. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And uh, name some names, you know, who's doing what. I know my boy Chris two times. I'll be trying to get him on everywhere. He be rapping at my weight pile. Hey, yep. my man be Hell doing yeah. his thing, though, but I got to try to get him going. But so. Well, so, come see us on the Instagram. I run it. So hey, if you I tell me Penny that. sent you. <laughs> hey, man. But uh, so all those hats. Mm -hmm. So I want to know, how do you balance all of this? Like, how do you juggle everything that you have going on? All the answers I wanted to say are probably not appropriate for the, the audience that we're looking at. Um, but balance as of late, especially within the last couple of months, has really been a big word on my plate um, because it's always a balance, whether whether it's like work and private life or whether it's like my two different two to five different jobs, you know, or balancing a schedule or keeping school. And I really don't think I have an answer. I just try to be really self-aware of how I'm feeling because I can go and go and go just like a lot of people, you know, we'll push ourselves into the ground, but really being aware of, you know, when I'm doing too much or when I need to find my peace, you know, and that helps me find the balance. Like knowing that I'm getting to my limit helps me be able to anticipate the next round of when I need so to how did you So how did you pivot or transition into this, like all of these? Like, because I'm sure you had like a regular nine to five, right? Oh, I still have a nine to five too. On top of my, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I still <laughs> work a nine to five. Shout out Rise Broadband. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, they're actually a great company, I can't even lie. I've been with them for like four years. Um, and because of the stability I have with that company, I'm able to like really explore like my schooling and things like that. They work with my schedule too for my kids and they're just, they're a great company. I can't even. Oh, okay. But so, so you do that, mm -hmm. but how did you pivot from that to doing all this stuff, all the other stuff? Like what got you involved in all the other stuff? Uh, man, I know exactly what it was. Um, shout out to one of my good friends. His name is PG. He's an artist in Denver. I was originally a fan before him and I were ever friends. And uh, I started going to his shows and then we just really started communicating. <clears throat> and he had done a show with The Knock uh, and I applied for their internship right around the same time that I was doing a video with him. Um, and then Kelsey just also happened to be in that video and we met and just really have been in communication ever since that moment. Um, but it's because of uh, my good friend P and Kelsey that like a lot of doors have opened up to me in this area because before I was just another kid in the crowd like happy to be here which I'm still immensely happy to be here like at any event that I'm at but um, yeah yeah that was that was the pivot probably doing my internship and being like number one fan for my good friend. <laughs> okay no, that's super cool. So this, this is always a tough question. Because I want to know what's your least favorite part about everything that you do? The least. Like, what is the most tedious, the most nerve-wracking, or the, you know, that really slows you kind of down? Honestly, it's my 9 to 5. Oh. Yeah. Uh, if I didn't have my 9, if I, if I could be stable without my 9 to 5 and really just do, like, the things that I love to do and am passionate about... Um, that'd be great, but realistically, I just can't replace the income right now. But my nine to five is probably the thing that I hate to do the most. Like when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, dang it, gotta work from eight thirty to five thirty, um, which I'm blessed to work from home and things like that. But still, I just, you know, I could be off networking or locking in venues or exploring other things that I can't do just sitting at never this. Never enough time in the day. Never enough time. <laughs> There's never, never enough, enough time. time. But so now that we got that out the way, mm -hmm. what is the favorite? Like, what is the mo the moment that you, like, you really soak it all in, like? Ooh, that's, that's hard. I have so many of these moments lately. Um, I recently picked up photography pretty heavily. And so, like, when I'm going through the pictures and, like, seeing these incredible pictures, like, that if I would see them online, I'd be like, dang, who took that? And I did. I took that. Um, another moment like that is our studio nights with the knock, like when we have all the artists in the studio and they're creating and 
it's a vibe. It is a whole vibe. Like I couldn't I couldn't put it into words, but they should try to capsule that and sell it because it would be phenomenal for people to be able to experience that kind of just camaraderie and like creativity, innovation all in one room between different people. And so you so you so you're feeding that energy. Mm-hmm. But it, I'm sure you there's late nights. Oh yeah. And then <laughs> you have to get home and be mom and then get up go to work and do that. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. how what motivates you to get up? Like, what is, like, what kind of, because late nights studio, sure, I, I mean, we've all had them. Like, I used right. to make music a long time ago. What? Yeah, man, a Let's hear some ago. Penny. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come no. on, spit something one time. But I'll give you something right now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, no, one no, time. No, 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 no. I was like, hold on, no, he's no, going to no. do it. But no, but you got to think. So you're tired, mm-hmm. you know, you come home and stuff like that, and then the day doesn't matter what happened last night. You know what right. I mean? It still needs to be attacked. What's getting you out of bed? What's motivating you? What's what's that fire? Where is that coming from? <sighs> um, the badass in me wants to say because that's just how I am. Then if I I tell my friend all the time, no one else is gonna do it. You know what I mean? No one else is gonna do it. But realistically, um, it's the God. It's so many things. It's remembering five years ago when I didn't wake up in a bed. Then I woke up on the floor. You know, it's uh my kids have their own beds to wake up in. It's so many things that motivate me that uh, so many people find me like inspirational in their life, you know, and empowering, like that keeps me going as well. Yeah. Just a, uh, just the push of wanting better. You should always be trying to do better. And so that should help you wake up in the morning anyways, because it's just a new opportunity to have a better day than yesterday, no. a better person than yesterday. I think a lot of people grind harder, you know, when they see, when they've seen the bottom. Yeah. Like if, you see, if you've seen the bottom and you've been there, you know it. Yeah, and so it you don't ever want to go back. Yeah, and so it just makes people have, like, you know, that extra bit of dog in them. Yeah, Like, absolutely. you know what I mean? And that's that's just... My kids are so entitled. Like, <laughs> my son, oh, I need a charger for my phone. Boy, I didn't even have a phone until I was in, like, 10th grade, and I had to figure out how to pay for that and just all the things, all the things. But uh, I'm blessed that my kids live in a world where, like, they don't even know like a third of the things that I knew at their age you know and not even in a bad way like just they are those are my kids are the sheltered kids and I I never had that luxury growing up you know the way people be texting we need to go back to that voice stream 10 cents a text <laughs> <laughs> hey look your call yeah me. yeah just like, call I, I, just, like I try to get stuff done they bang, bang, bang. I'm texting I'm like hey this 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 like you know what I mean I don't understand just call me, and I can tell you what we're trying to do or tell you. Aren't and then, you, like, really old, though, too? So, like, uh, well, I you just know, wait. I've been, I've been here for a couple moons. <laughs> 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 I, I've, seen, I've seen my fair share. We're not going to go there. But you so, look great. You look, I, you look I, what are you, like, 25? Hey, 27? Look, I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> look, I appreciate you reaching. <laughs> look, I appreciate you reaching. But, yeah, it that's not going to land. So what, what are your goals right here, right now? Like, I, I know they're ever-evolving. Mm-hmm. But what is like, say for instance, a one year, five year? What's what's the goal here? Um, in a year, I'd like to be out of my nine to five and solely working off of like my entrepreneurial ventures. Uh, five years, I'd like for those ventures to have created some amount of wealth, um, so I can purchase more properties and things like that to really expand on some of my goals of businesses, as well as already have like a few businesses that I've hopefully helped along the way. Um, man, that's such a hard question because I, I really just want to be great. Like, I just want to be great. My man. Hey, look at my <laughs> man. Hey. And like, there's no, there's at no the end, solid look, look what it says on there. Hey, yeah. be great, King. Yeah. Hey, every day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look, that's the only thing I think about. Hey. Yeah, we got it. There ground, you go. Yeah. yeah. Hey, got to have one on you. You I know, you know, you know, I think, I think like a king, but I do the work of a servant every day. Oh, that's beautiful, You know, yeah. I serve the people. Mm-hmm. I try to be one of the people and, you know, just try to be better. Yep. Try to treat people the way that I want to be treated. Absolutely. And also, too, opportunities, man. The opportunities come when you're, when you're serving others, mm-hmm. when you're helping other people find their way like you're doing, yeah. you know, as far as like just helping them with their business, helping them with their dreams, their ideas. Mm-hmm. At the same time, you, you get, you're getting your bucket full. And you're networking, you're meeting other people, and you're getting finding other avenues. And that's the beauty of it. And I don't think a lot of people, everybody just wants to check. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? It's more than a See, and the check comes after for me. Um, realistically, both of my teams now, you know, I work for the knock for free just because I love what we do. Like, I don't I don't cash a check. I mean, and Kelsey is like, um, she buys the best gifts ever. She, I swear, like once a week she's got some cool little 
present like anything from just cool candles she bought me like a really cool like inspirational journal because I write but sometimes it's hard so it like gives you just like cool little inspirational points to pivot off of in your writing and um, she's very thoughtful in that sense but we're like we're in the trenches right now and both of my companies like survival seven my boys have been around for a while but like we're still grinding all the time um, I just barely I'm coming up on actually this year will be my first year under contract with them um, first completed year under contract with them but before that like we were just doing it off the muscle because I, I believe in you and like what you do so the money is an afterthought everybody wants money and everybody wants to be successful and stable and be able to afford life but that's an afterthought to me I want to serve the people this, this might not be a question you can answer mm -hmm. and I wouldn't even want to put you on the spot about it but it's a question that I have and not just for yeah. you but just for the Colorado music scene mm -hmm. Why is there no unity or why hasn't there been a push behind maybe one or two artists like just push them out there and then you kind of follow the leader type of, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, hey, he's on. Let's follow him. Like, let's go. And then everybody else can come behind them and sign. And I, I, I see such and it's been going on for a while. Like, why hasn't a Colorado artist gained like serious, like mainstream traction? Right. And I don't, and I can't, I, for the life of me, I can't, because I hear some of the stuff, like I just, I forget the artist's name, I hit him up uh, like two days ago in the morning, I heard like a clip, a snippet of 30 seconds or something like that, mm -hmm. and then I hit him, I was like, hey man, that's really good. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, hey, you're on to something here, man. Keep grinding. You're like, and this is like yeah, six yeah. in the morning. Yeah, yeah. You know, like. That's me. That's me in artist inbox, like at six in the morning, yeah. like, you're Fantastic. And then he, he like. Did you he, see he, I censored myself just now? Hey, I appreciate wow. you. You know what I'm saying? Rule no cussing. <laughs> I wrote it down. No, I got, wrote got it right it. here five times. Like, <laughs> please, no cussing. No, but yeah, yeah, but he hit me back at like eight. Like, I appreciate it, bro. And I told him, I'm going to follow you, man. See what mm -hmm. you got going on. And I wish you knew me. Yeah. I forget his name. I, I honestly do. Like, just off the top of my head right here, right now. Here, Here's the thing. There's so many ways that that question could potentially be answered, but is there a right answer for it? Um, I can tell you, I'm at different events. Like, I'm at probably no less than two or three events. I try to go to an event every weekend, at least. Um, and then I'm always in open mics and stuff. And every event that I go to, there is at least one artist that I've never heard of before. And I, and I work in the music industry, and I've never heard of them before. Um, a lot of people rephrase that question to why is there nobody big out of Denver? Like, why does Denver not have its own sound? Or why does Colorado not have its own sound? But Colorado, don't, we don't really don't have our own anything. Like, we're in the middle of everybody. Uh, we have legal weed here. We have beautiful landscapes. We, you know, most of our cities, you know, have some kind of give back to the community stuff going on. So everybody wants to be here. And so it's like this this melting pot, like nine times out of 10, when you meet an artist, they're not even from here originally. They, they're they here by way of, um, but there are incredible artists doing like incredibly loud things right now. Um, but I think it's that mentality more that people feel like, oh, well, there's, there's no real sound out of Denver. But I'm like, y'all haven't met the, some of my friends because mm -hmm. like we have a sound and we have crazy skill. It, it blows my marbles that people like that I can just walk up to in real life aren't like swarmed by fans, like just musically. There's a lot of talent here and not even just like rappers, but like we have singers, we have people who play real instruments, you know, our open mic nights that I go to are just insane with like gifted people that I would have never imagined like that you would not be YouTube famous or something in this day and age or, you know, there's so many different ways to get there, but also it's a very saturated industry as well. Yeah. Yeah, no, like I said, I didn't want to put you on the spot about answering because this is a tough question that yeah. years in the making that nobody has figured. Here we are, 2023, and exactly. who's really come out of here? I mean, and we have some artists that did really well, like um, Trev, Trev Rich and Atmosphere and stuff like that. Like, they actually, I don't think Atmosphere is from here, so I just dropped his name in there for Gave no reason. Plug. Another yeah. plug for <laughs> <laughs> But, um, like, Trev Rich always comes to mind because I'm a fan of Trev Rich, and he. I hate that people call him like a B artist because I, I don't feel that way. But he also hasn't made it to the level of where like he's openly everywhere like Jay-Z and Wayne and, you know, all the all the greats of our time. But it's also different. How? Yeah, if you stay at it, you'll find your way. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. Just, and it's that's finding the your the music, formula. The music industry, mm -hmm. you could be in it forever. Then all of a sudden you got to One hit. day, just, uh, yeah. just w wake up one day, a song you maybe made a while ago. Mm -hmm. starts my, gaining my some My boss, Hash, Hash Got Bars, he... uh. 
with Survival 7. He's been doing music for many, many years. And I am always like, I don't understand, like, why, you know. And it's not him. It's just, it's the society, the, the culture that we're in, you know. Because he is a phenomenal artist. And he's very seasoned, you know. Um, almost anybody who knows anybody knows who Hash is uh, at the open mic nights, you know, at the um, cypher nights and things like that. And he's just an incredible artist. Um, but I don't know, because he's in Denver or... And that is also curious to me, too. Like, if these amazing artists uprooted and went somewhere where there's, like, a music, um, like, hot spot, so mm -hmm. to speak. So, like, I, I first thought of, like, Nashville or Atlanta or, you know, New York, things like that, where there's, there's like, heavier polluted um, opportunities for artists and things like that. If they would skyrocket as comparison to here, where because we don't have anyone that's come big out of here, no big, super big recording labels or anything like that here, we just have a lot of talent. Yeah, can solve the music industry. It's going to do what it does. Let me not vent. I'll go on about it. We'll go on does. about it. <laughs> so somebody who wants to get in the field or wear the hats that you have and you wear, what advice would you give them? Like, like what would you, how would you explain to them? Don't do it. Just like, joking. What, like, what would you share with them? What would you say? Um, gosh, be humble. Be courteous. Like, just... Be like a decent person. It, I can't really like speak to that because I can't. I can't imagine one person doing what I do. You know what I mean? Like maybe one of the things that I do, but I feel like regular people don't do twenty seven thousand different ventures at one time. But if that, if you are that type of person, if you're that one in a million like me, <laughs> um, make time to sleep, find your peace and your balance. Always like always have a like something that is like automatic peace for you. You know, mine's my dog. Like whenever, just that's just what it is. Whenever I'm stressed, like she just knows. And um, she's my instant gratification. Like when it comes mm -hmm. to peace outside of music, I can always throw music on and find peace. But I work in music too. So sometimes I just want silence. But yeah, find your sleep, find your peace and drink your water. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Stay mm -hmm. hydrated. So, and then also too, how has embarking on all these you know what i mean projects and different things how has it just affected your life or your path on life gosh it's been nothing but blessings since i decided that this is what i wanted to do like this is what i was gonna do this is what i'm good at which i don't even know what that is specifically but um i sometimes get referred to that i, I fill in all the gaps like i just whatever's missing like it's just me and i fill that in I um, mean, I liked that because I really, I really do approach people with like, what do you need? And like, how can we make that happen? You know, even if it's something I, I've never heard of before, like I will, I'll spend hours trying to figure it out before like ever just giving up on something. And now I forgot your question because I just went no, around I'm, in a I'm circle. saying just how it like affected your path. Like, so say um, for instance, like, you know, salespeople, right? Mm -hmm. You know, like they go door to door. Sometimes they get rejected by 20 houses, right. but they still have that same energy on the 21st house. Mm -hmm. Like they still push through, they plug and plug away, and I'm wondering how your what you do, and you know, what I mean, all the stuff that you help people with, and all the things that you do. How has it affected just your life? Like, what have you taken from it? What have you, you know, what I mean? What have what has it instilled in you? Um, gosh, those are great questions. I mean, just to keep going, like, so the second that I decided to do this for myself, really, I just blessings and blessings and opportunities and I'm a I'm a very big believer of the world the world gives you the opportunity to go the right way that you're supposed to go I personally believe in like a predestined path of whatever that looks like and so somewhere it's already written what I'm supposed to do but I just had to find it and so whenever I make a good decision I'm rewarded with that by other blessings and other options and so I have just just I don't I don't even know what have I instilled to trust myself um, to trust my own two feet and then, so and so in that, that mm -hmm. answers actually my last question, too, because I want to know how it changed your life, like, you know, like how it is. I'm so much happier now. <laughs> and that's, and that's, and I, that's Not that I was game. miserable, but I, just life felt redundant and stagnant, you know, and I, I always, I, like, I've been in school for a minute, and I knew that I wanted to do better, but things would just felt like they're just dragging on. And now in, like, the last what, two, maybe three years, like, I, I've just excelled, excelled in everything that I do, and the people that I touch do well, and, and that sounds really, like, cocky and conceited, and I don't mean it to be, I just, I really try to add value to people's lives, 
in general and in return it just it makes mine more fulfilling so the last question that i have is how can anyone listening to this podcast or people you know within the city support you or you know how can Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know they help you be a better you um or reach your goal like how can they yeah i'm like realistically uh, my both my companies need sponsorship right now so if anybody has related to anything i've said or you just want to have more conversations please reach out to me um but otherwise man just supporting you know social media unfortunately is a is a really big part of what i do so you know go follow my pages like the content that's coming out take time to watch the videos you know comment share all that fun stuff um, I always share and show love back uh, to people because I just, reciprocity is a huge part of my world, so. That, don't use that R word here. Reciprocity. Hey, Lord, you know, through my, through my whole life off with that. What, what, what she want? <laughs> what she just say? <laughs> no, but definitely. We're, so at the bottom of this, we'll plug all those um, mm-hmm. who all you work with and who needs sponsorships and stuff like that. But I want to know, what else would you like to say? Who else would you like to plug? <laughs> now, now, now is the time to plug. Make sure you uh, shout out Winning Wednesdays too. Yes, yes, really... thank you. Um, so let's let's start with Winning Wednesdays. This Wednesday um, in Denver at the Lifeline. If you Google Lifeline Colorado, it pulls up the address. It's on it's, uh, Bioc or by I think Bioc Road in Denver. But um, we do it typically every other Wednesday. But we have a Metamorphosis Gala coming up on July first. So there's only one Winning Wednesday this this June. So make sure you're at this one because it's huge. We have like three different cooks donating food there's going to be you know games there and people just hanging out services um, to help you heal like massage and um, energy realignment and all all those fun things like i did i did catch a glimpse they were doing haircuts too yes they do do haircuts we have a barber shout out caesar about, he's I was amazing about going over there to get mine right you know like yeah I'm like, yeah you're gonna get a little fade yeah, up look, I'm like, get, <laughs> no you should you should definitely with the come high back. top somebody come volunteer for him so he can make it to winning wednesday <laughs> yeah. um but uh, yeah, so shout out to them. They're amazing. Natasha Barshalom is incredible, incredible. Um, shout out to my boys at Survival 7. Go follow Vinny T. Hustle, uh, Hash Got Bars, Mike Steele, and Knowledge, which his IG is Freedom Team. Um, but they're incredible artists, incredible human beings. All of them have like a super packed summer lineup as well. So if you're looking for some stuff to come out and do, definitely plug in with them. Um, shout out to the knock. That's uh, that's like my family home base. Go, please go watch our most recent cipher. All our ciphers, watch all of them. But our most recent one is really phenomenal, and we just released it uh, this last week. So, nice. ready to run it up. But and I'm sure I'm missing people. Shout out to every single person that I love. And if you're watching this, like, damn, she didn't say my name. This is that moment. I'm saying it. Just you don't know about it. I got it right here. Yeah, she yeah. Got my home girl Trina. <laughs> Uh, Trina from what's uh, what? oh yes uh, you, please follow me um, long live the queen 23 on Instagram uh, Katrina Obi on Facebook hardly anyone but this guy calls me Katrina though so you could he's just known me since I was like sporting long socks but um, yeah support me and then that in return supports you because I'm gonna you know turn around and love all your stuff too Great photographer too, by the way. So. Oh, gosh, yeah. yeah, I do so much stuff. I forget to like oh, don't tell, worry. The, tell gonna, the world. I'm gonna give this podcast to you to edit. Don't worry. <laughs> Look, you're gonna save <laughs> yeah. two hours out, of, two three hours out of my yeah. life. Uh, but yeah, thank you again for coming down to the Absolutely. Kingpin thank podcast. Thank you so much for having me. And I appreciate you showing up, being on time, being professional. I also want to tell you thank you for letting us in, let letting us take a gl- glimpse into your life and all that you have going on. I'll ask you some questions in the beginning. You kind of poke the prod a little bit, but. <laughs> No, I appreciate you taking the time to answer them. I uh, appreciate all that you do for the community, mm-hmm. everything, and all the business that you help. And like I said, if there's anything that I can do or we can do, anybody in my network, please do not hesitate to reach out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you for everything that you do, what you do for the community, you know, providing a space for them to work out for free, and, like, you're there to support and encourage. Like, those things are worlds. When I started my weight loss journey, just having someone to tell me, did you work out today? Like, right. was a, it was a big deal. So yeah, I appreciate what you do for people. And I, I stay hawking your Instagram. They all, everybody looks like they're enjoying it and like really maxing out. And I, I appreciate that as well. They're going to enjoy it. Till the 24th, let me plug this. Got a squat competition. Got Did a men's right? max. You know what I mean? A women's max and a couple of rep off competition. Winners get cold cash. And uh, supplement products, uh, courtesy of King Penny Supplement Company. Another plug. Uh, but make sure you come down to the Wave Pile on the Rockies, uh, 1610 Main Street. 
Um, and that's all we have for uh, this week. Hey, stay tuned next week. And like I said, we're going to try to do a little better. It's hard to top this one, but we're going to try. We're going to try to do a little better and stuff like that and reach more people. Hey, thank you very much. King Penny Podcast. We're out of here. Hey, hold on. You can't do the finger point. I'm the last finger point. Uh, hey, don't stop it. Stop it. Stop it.